Hi, Nevada Virtual Academy is Monday, Monday morning, and we love Mondays. Proficiency exam even better than Mondays, problem number 16. Let's find out how should we, how can we solve a similar problem on the proficiency exam. In the diagram below, a five foot pole, BP, right, you can see that, it's right here is erected at the corner of an 8 foot by 6 foot rectangular concrete pad A, B, C, D, right? The pole is perpendicular to the pad and anchored with the guy wire P, D. Everybody can see that P, D, right? What is the length of the guy wire? And in this case, that guy wire is P, D in feet. How can you find that? All right? We got the erected pole, right? Erected means vertical, means above ground, perpendicular, right, to the ground. And as you guys see in here, we have a lot of right angles. A, B, C, D is what? Is a rectangle. B, D in that A, B, C, D rectangle is actually your what? Your diagonal. But more than that, that triangle B, I mean A, B, D or B, A, D, let's call it that way, triangle B, A, D is right or is a right triangle. All right. And it may not look right in this drawing here, which is given to you in 3D, right? But you can put it in here and say, hey, that triangle looks something like that. And I know my angle here is not quite right, but that's a right angle. And this is my triangle B, A, B. Okay. B, D is my diagonal. Why I need that diagonal in here? Well, I need it because, guys, if you check triangle P, B, D right triangle pbd which you know looks like this or something like that right triangle p b d is also a right triangle and in this triangle i need to find pd well for this triangle i know pb is given to me and is five i don't know B, D, but I can find it from the previous triangle, right? That's why I need triangle B, A, D, because knowing that the, this triangle is a right triangle, I will apply Pythagoras theorem and find B, P. Okay? So in triangle B, A, D, B, D squared, which is my hypotenuse here, opposes the right, the right angle, the 90 degree angle, right? BD squared will be equal to AB squared plus AD squared. Okay? Now, if you want, you can just go ahead and substitute those values and find what is BD, or you're going to say, I will hold on to this one, and I'm moving to triangle PBD, which is also right. In this triangle, I will write Pythagoras theorem for, for PD, right? PD in triangle PBD is your hypotenuse. And by Pythagoras theorem, I can say that PD squared equals PB squared plus BD squared. The square of your hypotenuse will be the sum of the squares of each one of its sides, right? Of the triangle's short side legs, right? Which equals what? Well, BD squared is actually AB squared plus AD squared. And I'm going to plug it in here. So, one more time, I can write that my PD squared equals PB squared plus BD squared, which we said is what? AB squared plus AD squared, okay? 
Now, to find your PD, because that's what the problem is requiring you to find, you will take the square root of both sides. And what you get next? Well, square root of PD squared is my PD. Your PD equals square roots of, and instead of every one of its of this sides, you're going you're going to plug in their values. What is PB? Well, PB is five five squared plus. What is AB? Well, AB is six, right? So it'll be six squared plus AD squared. AD is what? Eight. Eight squared. Come on. Squared. Which equals? Or you may say, all right, my PD. PD will equal square root of 25 plus 36 plus 64. Okay. What is the easiest way to... Um, let me take some... What is the easiest way to add all these three numbers? Anybody can see that? Well, 36 plus 64 is actually what? That's 100. This way I will know that square root of PD is going to be square root of 25 plus 100, 125. Okay? Are you done? Well, you're not done because you should simplify the square root. And this will be square root of 25 times 5 which equals square root of 25 times square root 5. And what is that? Well, this PD will equal square root of 25 is actually 5. Square root 5 is an irrational number and it's just square root 5. And this is your answer. PD which is um, the guy wire that we're looking for, right? Has a length of five and square root five feet. Whatever that value is, I don't to have. I don't have to find it. I don't have to find a better approximation of that, okay? Or an approximation because this is the best uh, value, right? This is the perfect value, but the approximation will take us to some some uh, value around. Uh, I don't know, 11 probably. But this is the answer, okay? That's why you're going to choose A for this problem because A is the real value, the real length of your PD. And this, uh, are, this are the steps in which you can solve this problem. Maybe you guys can find a faster way, a quicker way. But um, if you don't know any, any other one, please use this approach on the proficiency exam. And somebody's going to be happy at the end of it. And that happy person is going to be you and probably me too because you're my student, right? Um, this is it. Thank you. And we'll do one in a minute. Thank you, guys.